All right, guys, so set up behind me, we have 10 sheets of drywall. This is to simulate five total walls that would be in a home. Each wall consists of two pieces of drywall. Uh, these are half inch thick sheets, which are just what you'd find in a regular home. And behind that, we have our block of ballistics gelatin. Just in case the rounds go completely through the five walls, we'll be able to tell if they came out at a lethal velocity. Now, before we get into the test, we're gonna host our second giveaway. We actually hit a thousand subscribers this week. So as a thank you to you guys, we're giving away a box of 22 long rifle ammunition. I know that ammo has really been a rip off online lately. So if you're interested in this, go to the description, click on our Facebook link, like our page, come back here and comment telling us how many walls you think each round will go through. Uh, after a certain amount of time, we'll pick a winner and we'll send this box to you for free. We also have a lot of cool tests coming up. I know you guys requested a 223 Sabo fired out of a Moise and a Gaunt, so we're gonna make that happen. We also have ammunition coming from Liberty Ammunition, uh, Lehigh Defense, and we're actually gonna be able to test the multiple impact bullet. I contacted those guys and they seemed really excited, so they're sending us some product to test. All right, so our testing ammunition today is going to be the Spear Gold Dot 64 grain 223 hollow point and the Hornady XTP 115 grain hollow point. And the reason why we're using these two rounds here is because we've tested them in the past and we know that both of them did not penetrate the entire 16 inch block of gel. So that way we don't really have to worry about over penetration. We're just worried about those rounds that miss the target. We're gonna be using an AR-15 and a Smith & Wesson Model 5906 to test our ammunition today. All right, so let's see how it did. It went through the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, geez, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Wow, okay, so it went through all of them. It actually went through the wooden truss after the eighth uh, piece of drywall, and it penetrated six inches into the ballistics gelatin. So if you're firing that gold dot 223 64 grain in your house, it would have enough power to go through at least five walls and still kill a human being. So we're gonna reset this, and then we're gonna shoot the nine millimeter. Okay, so the nine millimeter actually went through all 10 panels as well and penetrated nine inches into the ballistics gelatin, the entire three inches farther than the 223. So keep that in mind when you're choosing your home defense caliber. Thanks for watching today, guys. If you have any comments or questions, post them below and don't forget to subscribe.